the minute you come up to it and press the button, it starts looking out through that little rectangular window and it reproduced, it has divided the window into 48 little zones which correspond to the 48 uh, individual LEDs that are built into the sculpture and it does some color processing, it enhances certain colors and puts those on the sculpture. So you could do something as simple as wave your fingers. So you press the button and then as I wave my fingers you see the sort of waving like I'll do one finger to make it a little more clear. So my finger is that orange blob and that's moving moving around. You know, and then I hold up like a, a blue shirt and I move it around. And we've got blue and there's stripes of green in the shirt, so you've got some green in there. And then that could be all you do. Or we earlier we had someone with a colored umbrella and they spun the umbrella and then you got these spinning colors and that was really cool. Um, the thing we wanted to be sure that people could do is if you wanted to spend some time and really compose something you could take a video and then put your phone up here and play the video and that'll do the colors on the sculpture or you know if you like like a music video here I'll just grab a video from YouTube and this is the groove line by Heatwave So, you know, you've got the music video playing and as the people are moving around, you see the blobs of color moving around to the music and that's kind of fun. And it's purely visual. It's not like electronically reading the phone. It's not using the sound. It's not using Bluetooth because we figured, is that going to be around in five years? Probably, but who knows? There will always be moving colored things in the environment.